Welcome to your Periscope for the month May 24. Today I'm gonna get your cards and get a forecast for the entire month. What's coming up, what energies can you expect and what do you have to take a closer look at? Please look at the placements of your big three, Sun, Moon and Rising. I have all three on my mind. You can also look at other placements if there's a message for you. I personally always look for my Rising and my Sun sign the most. If you like the telescopes, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel to get more pick a piles and upcoming telescopes. Thank you so much. My beautiful Aquarius, Aquarius Sun Moon Arising, let's have a look at your my predictions. Since this is a general reading, as always, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's have a look at all the cards and then stitch the reading together, as I like to say. There's a lot of fire energy in this reading. I think the best way to start is the Magical Spirit card. This has a mirror or a foil rather in the King of Wands we have here and is supported by the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck with resilience and creation. The fairy is about blessings, flow, magical energy or the Midas touch. The card says, darling, don't you remember? You're a badass. Keep winging it. The affirmation for this card is, everything I touch turns to gold. My energy attracts magic. While frolicking in the forest and flying amid the mushrooms, a fairy has appeared to you. A most positive omen, as they only reveal themselves to a rare kind of person. A person who also has magical energy or who will soon be sprinkled and blessed with some. Drawing this card is a positive omen that blessings are near. Trust that you are wildly magical and capable of doing whatever your soul is calling you to do. A period of grace, flow, magic and opportunity is here for the month of May. This card is also a reminder to trust your divine instincts more, to stop thinking and trying to plan so much. Doing so consumes precious energy. Overanalyzing can simply end up wasting time. Keep winging it as the fairy does. Let loose and act freely. You have been given grace at this time. And this very much repeats in the King of Wands we have here. This is charming, optimistic, confident, shining, proud, passionate energy. You motivate those around you and you can dare to be different. Keep winging it and you are already on the right way. You are an inspiration to others and you are unique as the fairy is. The supporting card, the four of ones here, is also very positive. It's about celebrations, surprisings, and signifies coming home, home to yourself, stability and prosperity. It tells you to have a sense of belonging and is also connected to teamwork. So you being yourself, shining the way you do, will call in your soul tribe, will call in your family more. And that is also what this card reminds you about. To actually rely on the community you have, to rely on the soul tribe you have here. Where can I ask for more help in my life? 
until we can receive with an open heart. We've never really given with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Brandy Brown. Today ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. The mantra fitting for that is, I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. The two Queen of the Moon cards here, Resilience and Creation. The Creation card goes beautifully with the Wands cards here. Those are creative and creativity cards, being passionate and bringing in the energy to build something, to create, to be creative. So this is the time to bring something forward you were thinking about the longest time but never felt it would be the right time. So May brings you the right energy to do so and to step out of the time where you carried your burdens all alone. This is the resilience card that's symbolizing the burdens. You carry them so, so well and you grew and you are strong and you did not break through anything. But this is the reminder that you don't need to carry it all alone. Make use of your community, keep winging it and ask for help to lessen the burden. Then we also have the self-care card up here. Watch a movie. When was the last time you have been to a cinema or deliberately took the time to sit down, make yourself cozy, take popcorn, cheese nachos, whatever you like, watching a movie and be present and sit with the movie and nothing else. This is your reminder to take some self-care time out for doing exactly this.